Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So last week I shared a list of perfect everyday fall fragrances. So today I am following that up with a list of some of the best date night fragrances. These are more appropriate for evenings. Doesn't have to be a date night, maybe it's a girl's night out, but they're a bit moody, a little spicy, very romantic. And I'm going to begin with one of my favorite fragrances in my entire collection. This is Mon Guerlain Intense. And honestly, I would wear this for a date night year round, but because it is a bit spicier, I think it is so perfect for the fall, winter, kind of cozy, cooler months. It's described as a warm, sweet gourmand with keynotes of lavender, vanilla, and patchouli. It's a tribute to the modern woman, and it was actually inspired by Angelina Jolie. And I know I mention it every time I talk about this fragrance, so I will spare you in case it's become too repetitive. But if it's your first time here, this also happens to be one of my husband's favorite fragrances on me. He cannot get enough every time I wear it. The compliments just come pouring in out of nowhere, which does not happen with most of my fragrances, actually. Oh, but it's so beautiful. He loves it. I love it. It's one of those fragrances that is such a crowd pleaser. It's spicy, but it's not too spicy. It's a little bit sweet, but it's not too sweet. In fact, I'm surprised it's even considered to be a warm, spicy gourmand. I do like the original Mongerlan, but I think the Mongerlan Intense is just a little bit better. It's more bold, it's more intense, it's longer lasting, and I just think it has greater impact. This is definitely the date night version. The original Mongerlan is really pretty, but more daytime. It's very sensual, very romantic. This perfume is perfect for a date night out, and that's really the only time I grab this fragrance if I'm going out with my husband for dinner or we're just going out for the evening. Any time of year, but especially fall winter. Oh, it's so delicious. Next on my list is Santal Complet from Fragrance de Bois, and this bottle was recently sent to me complimentary, but I was first introduced to the brand earlier in the year when I purchased Minuit et Demi, and I was blown away by the fragrance, the presentation, the customer service was amazing. But then they reached out and they sent over a discovery set, which was incredible because I had the opportunity to smell all of their fragrances, and I picked out my favorites. Oud Jaune Intense stood out to me the most at the time because it was so perfect for summer, very tropical and sensual. I just love that fragrance. But Santal Complet was my second favorite, and I just knew at the time this would be perfect for fall winter. It's very creamy, dreamy. I wore this yesterday, and I'm just always blown away by this fragrance. It smells amazing the moment you spritz it but somehow it's even better later on once it's had dry time to dry down on the skin. It becomes addictive. And the projection and the lasting power of this fragrance is so impressive. It lasts for hours on me and I can still smell it. I don't become nose blind to it, so I know that other people can smell it as well. It is a very expensive line, but they are such high quality fragrances. Keynotes include coconut, lemon, violet, black pepper, sandalwood, vanilla, amber, and musk. Anytime you get that combination of notes in the base, you just know it's going to have such a nice warmth to it. This is for anybody who loves vanilla. If you love sandalwood in a fragrance, this will be perfect for you. Oh, it's so nice. I definitely pick up the coconut initially. But then when it dries down, it becomes a little bit less and I definitely pick up on the vanilla and the sandalwood. It's so smooth and creamy. And just the perfect balance. It's a little bit sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's a little bit woody, but it's not too woody. I think the entire line is considered to be unisex, but this is a fragrance that, at least for me, I think it leans very feminine. If I had to recommend the safest blind buy from Fragrance de Bois, it would have to be Santal Complet. And there are several from the brand that I love. They're beautiful. Ujon Intense would be on the list, a close second. That is a fragrance that really speaks to me because it's a bit tropical. But Santal Complet, I think, would speak to anybody and everyone. It's just very wearable. I think it is a people pleaser. It's one of those fragrances that kind of draws people in. Like I, when, even when I'm smelling it on myself, I kind of keep smelling my arm, keep smelling my arm, and I just want to keep smelling myself because it's just really nice, smooth, creamy, dreamy, 
The next two perfumes are extra spicy. So if Mongerlan Intense is a little bit spicy, that's sort of your mild, medium spice. This is like your habanero and ghost pepper, just spice bombs. This is the Noir 29 from Lulabo and Kayali Invite Only. I really like a spicy fragrance. I think a lot of people do, especially for fall winter. But if they're a little bit too spicy, I recommend combining with this, the Kayali Vanilla 28. Just an incredible vanilla fragrance. In fact, it is so popular. It's basically sold out everywhere. So I could only get my hands on this tiny bottle. I'm definitely going to pick up the full size as soon as I can get my hands on it because it is amazing on its own. But I also think this is like the key backbone to layering with almost every single fragrance you can think of. Especially anything that does have vanilla in it, it will pair really nicely with this. The Noir 29 from Lulabo is described as an ode to the noble tea leaf. Keynotes include bergamot, bay leaves, black tea, fig, hay, tobacco, cedarwood, vetiver, and musk. And it is very spicy, very woody. It truly smells like a strong cup of tea, like a strong cup of Earl Grey. It really overpowers everything as soon as you spritz this. Anytime I've sprayed this fragrance in this room, if it gets on the blanket or even just the carpet, it scents the entire space for days. No exaggeration. Oh, it's so nice kind of smells like wood chips, but there's a little sweetness. I get black tea. I definitely get the fig. It's probably where the sweetness comes from. It's very exotic, kind of smells like traveling through Morocco, through a spice market, something like that. Just transports your senses. It is unlike any other fragrance I have ever smelled. I love this by itself, but I don't know if this is the type of fragrance that I would want to wear on myself alone, but just the other day I was kind of experimenting, playing around, and I tried layering this Vanilla 28, and it was magic. At first I thought, oh no, this isn't right, it does not smell great, but you give it a minute, and the combination of these two, these two little soldiers right here, I have these two tiny bottles, but together this is an atomic bomb, just a powerhouse. Christmas, cinnamon, you get the spice, you get the vanilla, the sweetness. Match made in heaven. This is like husband and wife right here. True love. I cannot tell you how great they smell together. Now with the combination, I know that the Noir 29 is going to shoot up as one of my favorite date night fall winter fragrances because the two together is just unmatched. It's not really a cozy, romantic, night in, cuddling on the couch type of combination because you certainly don't want to give your partner a headache or blow them away, but this would be the perfect fragrance for a night out or a date night out. If you're going to be at a holiday party or a big get together where there are going to be a ton of people in the room, a lot of different competing scents, and you really want to stand out, or maybe just an occasion when you want to draw attention to yourself, that type of date night, that would be the perfect time to wear this. And the same is true for the Kayali Invite Only. I love this fragrance, perfect for fall winter, definitely an evening date night type of mood. But I said in my initial review, as much as I loved it, I felt like it was missing something, like it wasn't quite 100% perfect. Well, it turns out what it was missing was the Kayali Vanilla 28. This together is a match made in heaven. Now, if you really like something that's very spicy, just spice forward, you'll probably find this to be perfect on its own. But I think the Vanilla 28, it, it softens it a bit. It makes it a little bit more feminine, a little bit more sensual, definitely more sexy date night when they're paired together, in my opinion. Invite Only has Amber, Benzoin, and Cinnamon, and then the Vanilla 28 has Gardenia, Jasmine, and Vanilla. So it softens the fragrance, but it's a warm, sensual vanilla. Together, it becomes one of the prettiest amber fragrances I've ever tried. I love amber so much, but sometimes it gives me a headache, it's a little bit too overpowering, there's just something about it that I personally can't wear. I love to smell it on other people, but when I try to wear it myself, it just doesn't work out. Dior Amber Nuit is the perfect amber for daytime. 
and this combination the kaoli vanilla 28 and invite only this is the perfect amber fragrance for the evenings for me another bold and spicy date night fragrance that would be perfect for a night out on the town for fall winter is luby rouge from christian louboutin this is hands down my favorite fragrance from that luby world collection i've smelled them all there are maybe two other fragrances that I really liked, but not enough to purchase, at least not yet. But Luby Rouge, this was the first one I sprayed, and it was love at first sniff. It is such an interesting fragrance. And it took a minute to kind of grow on me because I couldn't quite put my finger on what it was about it that I really liked. As it dries down, it kind of takes you on a journey. When I first spray the fragrance, I get a lot of spice from the cardamom. And then I start to pick up on the tobacco and there's iris in there and then there's vanilla in the base. And that's what's left lingering on the skin. It definitely smells like a special occasion type of fragrance. Like you're going to wear this fragrance when you are dressed up, ready to go somewhere special. It just smells fancy. Oh, it's so nice. Mmm. It almost smells unisex when you first spritz it, but as it dries down, the sweetness from the vanilla really comes through and it is just elegant. I definitely pick up on a little tobacco, a little leather. I wish there was a Luby Rouge candle because I want to smell like Luby Rouge, but I also want the entire room, this entire space to be filled with Luby Rouge. I can just picture getting ready for a night out, lighting the candle, it just sort of sets the mood. And the moment you smell this, it just smells fancy, special occasion, night out, glamour. It's a very glamorous fragrance. Now, if you prefer something a little bit softer for date night, a fragrance that is going to sit a little bit closer to the skin, then I recommend Tom Ford Lost Cherry. It is still incredibly seductive and sexy, very warm and cozy but you kind of smell like a dessert. <laughs> to me, this smells a lot like cherry almond, like a very expensive, fancy cherry cordial. But it does dry down to be a little bit softer. Even when you first spritz it, it's a little bit soft. It's just not nearly as spicy and bold as some of the other fragrances on the list, but still makes a statement, definitely. Every time I smell this perfume, it just makes my mouth water. I love this fragrance. I wish it was a little bit stronger, that it lasted a little bit longer. When it dries down on me, I just get a lot of vanilla, but it's a slightly spicy, it's a very elegant vanilla. It's not really a creamy buttercream cupcake, birthday cake type of vanilla. It's more of an elevated vanilla bean, the vanilla pod. The bitter cherry note right away just sort of grips you. It's so tart and unique. Unlike anything else you will smell from other fragrances and definitely a standout from anything else carried by Tom Ford. So it's just a very interesting combination. Delectable makes your mouth water. And it does have a little spiciness and a little warmth so perfect for fall winter i always save this fragrance it's one of my favorites but i always have to save it until the cooler months even though we don't truly get a change of seasons in south florida i just like to wait i put it off and when the timing is right that's when i will pull out my lost cherry and it's perfect very romantic it's a very intimate fragrance because it sits a little bit closer somebody will have to be a little bit closer to really pick up on it it's not going to knock people's socks off they're not going to smell you the moment you walk into the room so it's kind of understated it's a very elegant fragrance and it's just delicious Another great cozy night at home type of fragrance would be Trey Share from Mizenser. This is a new addition to my collection and I am so happy I discovered this fragrance because, wow, love at first sniff and it really fits a need. It sort of fills a void that I didn't even realize that I had until I smelled it and I just knew I don't have anything else that smells like this. This fragrance truly smells like wrapping yourself in a very luxurious scarf or blanket, like a cashmere hug from a loved one, where you instantly sort of melt and relax. 
It brings an entire mood and atmosphere with it. It smells so soft, and it's not that the notes or the fragrance is soft, at least for me, it definitely lasts. And I tried a sample, I wore it for several days before I decided to invest in the full size. I loved the projection, I love how long it lasted, so I was very happy with the performance. But it almost smells like a material, like one of those warm, like almost a barefoot dreams blanket. If that blanket had a very luxurious fragrance to it, it would be some version of Trey Cher. It's slightly powdery, but not too powdery. It gives it a really nice soft fluffiness. The perfume smells very light and airy, even though it has amber and vanilla, it's not too moody, it's not too deep and heavy. Which is why I think it doesn't give me a headache after I've worn it for a few hours, it still smells really good. Easily one of the most feminine, most romantic perfumes I have ever smelled. And it was inspired by a love poem written to a loved one and they might never receive it. And they did such a beautiful job capturing that sentiment. I smell this perfume and I think of the main character in a Nicholas Sparks movie or Nicholas Sparks book. Soft, elegant, you are the main character when you wear this fragrance, but it is a bit understated. It's not overly bold and spicy, but it is so warm and sensual that it is perfect for fall winter. If you couldn't tell, these are in no particular order, but next up I have Maison Francis Kurgian Baccarat Rouge 540, the Extra de Parfum. And I really think you could interchange both the Extra de Parfum or the Eau de Parfum. It's really up to your personal preference. I have them both and I love them both. I grab the Eau de Parfum more often because I prefer the Eau de Parfum. Of the two fragrances, I think they smell very different. I think the Eau de Parfum is a little bit more feminine, it's a little bit sweeter, but the Extra de Parfum is really beautiful and I think this version is really nice for a fall winter date night. It has Egyptian Jasmine, Saffron, Bitter Almond from Morocco, Cedarwood, a musky woody accord, and Ambergris. The Eau de Parfum might be a little bit sweeter, but the Extra de Parfum is a little bit more rich and decadent. Oh, it's so nice. Mm. And it lasts a little bit longer. See, I get a lot of the cedar and the woody accord in the Extra de Parfum, which I don't get from the Eau de Parfum. A lot of people might think the Extra is just a more intense version of the Eau de Parfum, but that is not the case. They do have different notes, and to my nose, they are very different. Now, of course, there are some similarities. They're just different interpretations. But that cotton candy, vanilla sugar note that's in the Eau de Parfum, you don't get that from the Extra. So it doesn't have the same mouth-watering, addictive fragrance. I think anybody who loves the original Baccarat will also really love the Extra, but you might be like me and find that they work really great for different occasions. I also think you could wear maybe the original Eau de Parfum for spring summer, wear the Extra version for fall winter, or wear the Parfum during the day, wear the Extra in the evenings. There are a lot of different ways you could incorporate both if you wanted to but I don't necessarily think you need both. I think you could just choose your favorite and go with that interpretation. I only have two perfumes left on my list here to talk about, and I think they are both powerhouse perfumes. So the first one is Reckless from Roja. This launched earlier in the year with that entire group of fragrances. Each one more beautiful than the next, they're all really incredible. But Reckless in particular immediately struck me as being very sweet and seductive. It's a very sultry, sexy fragrance. Definitely date night. It reminds me a little bit of Dior Hypnotic Poison, and now that we have Parfum de Marly Oriana, those two are very similar. In fact, I had to spray one on each side so I could compare them. Oriana is a little bit lighter. There's an airiness. It has the Chantilly cream. And, and it sort of smells initially like, ooh, this could be date night. But then as it dries down, it doesn't quite make it there. I still think it would be incredible for a date night, 
but it's not exclusively date night. Whereas Reckless, I think, is definitely an evening fragrance. It's described as fresh, soft, powdery, and very sensual. It starts with a burst of bergamot and mandarin. It has pink pepper, sandalwood, benzoin, and vanilla. Hmm. It is a little bit fresh and airy, but it is intoxicating. It's a little bit sweet. Maybe it's the bergamot mandarin combination that sort of reminds me of Oriana, but even the dry down. And besides those two, I didn't recognize any similar notes. There's a depth to this fragrance that you don't get in the Oriana, so it, it definitely feels a little bit moody, very sensual. But then the dry down is very vanilla. It's just so nice. If I had to describe this fragrance in one word, it would be seductive. Perfectly balanced. It's a little bit sweet. Definitely floral as well. But it's so sophisticated. I imagine getting dressed up for a night out on the town. Just a showstopper. I imagine this would draw in a lot of compliments. Now, this could be a date night with a boyfriend, husband, somebody that you know, but this could also be a girl's night out when you're trying to catch a date, when you're trying to meet somebody special. It's a little bit fruity, a little bit floral, almost has that bubblegum type of smell. But wow, this fragrance makes a statement. It's not as bold and spicy as some of the other perfumes on the list, but it has that wow factor. And then last but certainly not least, we have Arabian's Tonka from Montal. I first talked about this fragrance in my Gourmands video, and I saved it for last then as well because it is such a powerhouse fragrance. It is so strong that I feel like you have to build up to it. You can't just introduce this in the middle because then it's all downhill from there, at least in terms of performance. Now this is going to be a very polarizing fragrance. Some people are going to love it. Some people aren't going to care for it. I happen to love this fragrance. It's an amber woody fragrance. Keynotes include saffron, bergamot, oud, Bulgarian rose, sugar cane, tonka bean, amber, white musk, and oak moss. If you love gourmand fragrances, I think you will love this. To me, it smells less vanilla and more like chocolate. It's the funniest thing. I would have never thought of myself as somebody who wanted to smell like chocolate. But that's what comes to mind when I smell Arabian's Tonka. And it's not like a milk chocolate bar, but it's like an elevated cocoa, like a cacao, something that's very fancy. But it's sweet. It's a little bit earthy, a little bit dirty. I kind of get I maybe a vanilla chocolate swirl has to be fall winter because it's very warm, sensual, very sexy. Has to be evening, date night because there's no other appropriate time to wear this fragrance. It would just knock your socks off. Not daytime, maybe not even first date depending on what type of impression you're looking to leave. Not office appropriate. I could spray that fragrance just a few times on myself and it will last for days. If you don't wash your hair, it will linger in your hair until your next wash. It's just strong stuff. So you have to make sure you really like it. If you love the fragrance like I really love it, that's a good thing. But if you don't like the fragrance, you're going to have to take a shower and immediately just scrub your entire body, which I can't see somebody not liking it. I can definitely see people not wanting to wear it on themselves, but it's a very pleasant smell. You'd have to dislike chocolate, dislike desserts and sweets. And what kind of person dislikes chocolate? And that completes today's list. It really is very difficult choosing favorites, narrowing it down, but I don't think you can go wrong with any of these perfumes. This is what I love to wear for an evening out, date night, maybe just a night out with girls for dinner or drinks. Any occasion when you're dressed up and you just want to smell really good, these are all those confidence-boosting fragrances. But as always, I want to hear from you guys. So if you have a favorite, 
fall, winter, date night, evening, evening fragrance, let us know down below in the comments section. I am constantly taking screenshots and writing down your recommendations so I can check them out. But that completes today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.